Hi, and welcome to the tutorial for Hands-On 3. To complete Hands-On 3, firstly we go onto the Osmosis and Flex tool Energy Flexibility Modeling page on Open Learn Create. Then we scroll down to Course Content. Over here we select Lecture 4. And we click on Hands-On 3. Please read over this PDF before you complete the Hands-On. These are the learning outcomes of the PDF of this hands-on exercise. Be advised that in this series I will not be explaining to you everything that is done over here. I will simply be showing you how to complete the hands-on in terms of the SAND interface. So the rest of the things such as draw an RES with a backstop and demand, please have a read over this on your own and understand how it works. So we skip this bit come down over here okay so first we need to do is define commodities before doing that the step that needs to be followed in every single hands-on is creating a new folder each time whenever we complete the hands-on exercise or add something to our model and we call this HO3 for hands-on 3 then we go into HO2 we copy the sand interface Go back into HO3, paste it, and we rename it to HO3. Now let's open this up and read the rest of the instructions by the time this opens. So what we'll need to do is define commodities. These instructions restate what I just did, which is making a copy. And then we will follow the rest of these instructions in order to define the commodities. Opens up, you will get such a screen for which we just click on enable content. Then what we need to do is we need to go to sets. And over here in cell E3, we need to change this to ELC003. The description of which the description of which will be electricity after distribution. So in this case we've defined a commodity which in this case is electricity after distribution. Now we need to define energy demands for specific fuel. This is stated in the hands-on exercise. So there is two which could be defined, which is specified annual demand and accumulated annual demand. Make sure that you never define both of them. In this case, we're going to define specified annual demand. And for that, we need the data prep file. So we right click on this and we click on open link in new tab. Once the page in Zenodo opens up, we scroll down and we download the data prep file. Let's open this up. So this contains in the different sheets the data that we will be inserting into SAND. So, let's go back onto Sand, Parameters. Over here, we need to select Specified Annual Demand. So we select everything and unselect everything. We scroll down until we find 
specified annual demand. We click OK. Then we go on to cell K1 41971. So this one over here. And we insert the data from the data prep file. So specified annual demand. Here is the data that we need. To copy the whole row as the numbers change, what we do is we use Control Shift right arrow, Control C, then we go back onto the sand file where we right click and we paste. Now make sure to paste those values whenever it gives you the option. If it doesn't give you the option, it means it's going to paste those values. Now we control S to save this. The next thing that we'll need to add is the specified demand profile. So what we do is we scroll down and select specified annual demand, select specified demand profile and click on OK. Over here we filter out only ELC003, we click OK. We go into the data prep file and over here we click on profiles year split and profile and we need to copy the specified demand profile so what we do is control shift bottom arrow and then while holding control we click on cell D 130 because we don't need the one then we control C go back onto the sand over here we right click and we paste this. Now this has pasted these values as well and I've chosen to match the destination formatting so that the colors are the same. So we control shift and bottom arrow in order to copy everything. Control C, control shift right arrow, control V and then we control S to save. This is because we need to define this for all the years. Once this is saved, we now need to define a simple technology. So we're going to define backstop. We go into sets and in cell B3, we change this to backstop. And in the te technology description, we write backstop technology. Afterwards, we go into parameters. We filter out all the previous filters that we had. So we select everything. We do the same for parameters. Now in column C, we select only backstop. The next thing we do is we go onto the data prep file, onto the backstop sheet, we scroll down. And we notice that this part of the sheet is exactly the same as the sand interface. So what we need to do is ensure that all the numbers are the same. So we scroll down and we can see for capacity factor the value is 1. Here we see that the capacity to activity unit is 1. So we'll go into the sand interface, we scroll down. And here we find the capacity to activity unit and change it to 1. We go back onto the data prep and we see that the capital cost is a very big number. So what we need to do is we need to copy this number and paste it. So again, control shift right arrow, control C, 
we'll come back to the sand interface capital cost right click match destination formatting in this case and then we go back onto the data prep file <coughs> scroll back to the left where we see that the fixed cost is again a very big, big number we've copied this already so we just need to paste it sand interface fixed cost right click paste then we go back onto the data prep file and we scroll down here we see that the operational life is set to 80 and the output to activity unit at 1 for ELC 03 so we go into the sand interface we scroll down We change the operational life to 80 and the output activity ratio to 1 for ELC 003. So this is for the whole modeling period. So control C, control shift right arrow, control V. We go back onto the data prep file and we scroll down. Let's see the comparison with sand. So the numbers are basically the same, except in the data frat file they're bigger. And also the variable cost is a big number over here, whereas in the sand interface it's 0 0.001. So for the sake of consistency, we copy the same values from here to there. So, control shift right arrow, control C, then we come back onto the sand interface, paste, 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 we change the variable cost as well, and we change this number too. We control S to save. So, now we've defined the simple technology. So in this hands-on so far, we added a commodity and defined a simple technology. We can now run this model to see how electricity is being produced after distribution from backstop technology. To do that, we close this file. We also close the data prep. What we do is we go to local disk C, program files, oh, not this one this one click send we open click send we export the templates so this PC local disk C Osmosis system flex tool H03 click OK we go back onto here we delete the unnecessary sand interface and now we need to run the model so over here we click on the three dots next to data source so three dots this page will open up we go into HO3 sand interface HO3 we click open click on the three dots where it says model and it will bring you to the same folder where we select osmosis code click open and we click run you will get such a page and afterwards you're going to get a black screen that is going to appear over here it might remain for some time then it will disappear and later on I will show you what the results page would look like and how you know that the model has stopped running when the program is running you will get such a screen don't do anything so just leave it and don't touch anything when the program is being run once the program has been finished I will show you what the screen should look like at which point you will know that the run has been complete. The model has run and you've got your results. You will get such a page on the click send. In order to check what the results have been, what we do is we go onto the HO3 file. Now you will see that there's been many new folders that have been added over here. 
The one that we're interested in is Sand Interface HO3 results. To make it easier for later, which you will see why that is the case, click on the sand and rename this to HO3 underscore results. So we have successfully run the model. Let's see what's the next step. We go back onto the hands on. The next step is visualization of results. So what we do is we go into HO3. Now we click on results database. So when this opens up, we click on enable content, click on macro, right click and run. When we click on run, it is going to ask us for a path of the file. So what we need to do is the following. We go back onto HO2, we click on HO3 results, we click over here, which brings the path, and we control C. Copy this, right? Then we go back onto the results database. We paste it over here, control V. Then we need to add the following because it might not say the actual file. So it says the folder, but it doesn't tell the file. So we put a slash and we put the name that we just put our file, which was h03 underscore results. And we put dot txt so that the file can be identified. Make sure that you check this every single time when you do this. Then we click on OK. Once we click on it, we get such a window. Click yes. Yes again. Yes again. Yes. 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 We will get such a page. So this is just showing that the results have been transferred into X file, into an Excel file. So what we need to do is visualize these results. What we do is we go back onto HO3 and we open results template. We click on enable content. What we're interested right now is the electricity production. So we go to annual electricity production. You will see such a graph over here. We go to the left and we select cell A4. Then on the top, it says pivot table analyze. We click on it. Underneath it says change data source. Click on that and we click on change data source. Over here, we click on choose connection. Browse for more. We go to the HO3 folder and we click on results database. Then we click on open. You will get such a page. Click OK. Click OK. And over here, click OK. Once more, we click OK. So now you will probably get a graph like this where there is nothing. So what we need to do is come to column labels and we need to select backstop. Once we click OK, we'll get a graph like this. What this graph is showing is how much energy will be produced by annual by backstop technology annually from 2015 till 2070 based on the demand that we've demand that we've identified that we've defined in the model so this is how you do the results visualization please remember these steps as you will need to do this every time at the end of a hands on and you will need to do this later every time when you build a model we control save this and we can close everything Thank you for watching this tutorial.